Real Talk is proudly sponsored by Huawei P20 Pro and MTN. Each week for 10 weeks, we're giving away the latest Huawei. I have no choice. It had to be done, good man. Jake le tabi ne ba bereka mo ho ho leka ho free mo fo pola ya ha ebe. I I had to think on my feet, act fast. If I didn't. Whoa 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 whoa. Tabi ona bereka le Jake. Which is Jansu? Kiu tu le mo ho ene tabi self. Obo mo la ya. Man ene si mai kai lo ka ho mo la. You have to believe. Oh, how convenient. Oh, come on, man. You know me. Seki si sing yo hori. Kona le moto yon hori usule. Asina mo lato. And wena ona le se abe mo kanyeo. Damn it, kum kani. Bona, my lord, man. Whether one do me la kota haon do me le. The same nane ki lega us dirak yo kopote. Oh, jaka u diri le ka ebe. U dirak the same thing janu ka u siya kakwe. It is what it is, good man. Oh, that was an intense performance. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to another installment of Real Talk here on SABC3. Now, if you remember, a couple of weeks back, I was in conversation with some of your favorite on-screen soap sisters, and we had tons of fun. There was just so much laughter with them. And we responded to your request because you kept asking, where are the guys? When are the guys coming up? So I'm very happy to tell you that we listened to this request. And this evening, I'm having a sit down with some of our favorite brothers that grace our SABC soapies on a daily. And tonight, we take a peek into their lives and the ever so interesting soap world that they play a role in. First up is that captivating man, the one who always delivers arresting performances, Vuyo Dabula, a man who's garnered a lot of success through his career, known by many for his ruthless performance of Kumkani Gaddafi Pagate on SABC One's, I almost said three, but SABC One's Generations, The Legacy. We love to hate him, but we just can't get enough of this character. Hello, Vuyo. Hello, Azania. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank yes. you. You had a very intense expression looking at that performance, like you were studying yourself. Yeah. And yeah. it's not always often that you find actors responding like that to seeing themselves. Um, I, I People don't know, are often yeah, shy, they really, don't yeah, see yeah, it, but you yeah, were like, Come yeah, I want to see, yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've, been doing, I've been doing the character for about four years, and uh, you kind of, if you, 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 in situations like that, you kind of get into like a, like a dull, sort of, you get into like safe sort of um, yeah, like a ways of performing, a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, sometimes it's good to actually check and, and, and look at what, what you're doing so you can actually try and mm. see where you can improve, where you can, whatever, if there's a new thing that you can add. Um, yeah, so basically that's what, that's, that's what was going through my head when right. I was watching it. Yeah. Like I said, it's not, it's not usual. Maybe they do it in private, yeah. that you did that yeah. in this moment. It was yeah. quite interesting. Okay. But congratulations, it's rude of me not to congratulate you on, what is oh. it, it's the best actor in a lead role for the yes. African Movie Academy yes. Awards? Yes, yes. That's yes. fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I hope you take it. This is four or five fingers, of course. Four or five fingers from us. Yeah, 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 definitely. I hope I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. Would you say that that, is, that was a seminal performance for you as far as your career so far is concerned? I, you know, I mean, I, I've done uh, kind of uh, small, small scale um, uh, projects before yeah. that, that are not as big as uh, five fingers uh, for Marseille. And I think... I think, uh, you know, I, I do have a bit of a body of work that, that, that has uh, great performances in. Uh, Mike Masoto, for one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's another character called Vuyo, coincidentally, uh, on a movie called Soldiers of the Rock. Yeah. If I remember those performances, I think, um, yeah, you know, I think I've built a bit of a body mm. uh, of performances, which mm -hmm. is quite, uh, I'm grateful for that. That's yeah. formidable. Yeah. Before, you, yeah. You do have quite an arresting presence on screen. Like just seeing you smile now. Yeah. 
a lot of the time we're used to you being so intense, yeah. like dealing with some of the hardest emotions that yeah. people have to deal with. But on your face, they just come alive. Yeah. It doesn't it, seem like it's hard for you, you know, to bring the anger, to, to bring, bring the rage, the anger. to bring the frustration. I don't know. Maybe I am a frustrated, angry person. Really? I just hide behind the smile. Maybe. Maybe, maybe that's yes. why. Sorry? I'm saying maybe or yes. <laughs> Um, Maybe it's a little bit yeah, effective. yeah. I mean, I think I've been through like, quite a bit in my life mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you know that that that, that has made me, um, you know, giving me that anger. Yeah. So I think maybe I guess that's why it's easy to for it to just bubble up quickly. Um, uh, yeah. Do you find your male viewers can relate to that? Um, that I side of you, that passion, that that kind of intensity. Yeah, I think uh, we, 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 look, I mean, what I'm, what I'm about to say um, has no bearing on me because I can't control it. Right, right. But I think, you know, in South Africa, we, 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 we live in a country that is incredibly violent mm -hmm. and uh, uh, people are quick to get aggravated. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think it comes back to where we come from uh, as men, uh, you know, um, emasculated by the whole situation, the apartheid situation. Yes. yes. Um, and um, it's just development. Um, you know, we, we, I think men find themselves kind of uh, underdeveloped in so many ways that they kind of feel um, left behind uh, emotionally, whatever, whichever way. I think we kind of, uh, you know, feel that we, you know, there's a certain inadequacy that we're feeling mm -hmm. uh, based on where we are in life as black men. Um, but we know where we, you know, why that is the case. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, I think if I, if it comes out on screen and they see it, they, uh, then, then maybe the they can re relate yeah. to the, to the rage. Because, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm able to say that because I'm, I'm affected that way as well. Um, I do feel those, uh, you know, in, inadequacies and, you know, I'm 42, I, uh, I could have, you know, been so far, I could have yeah. achieved this, I could have done that, but um, I have to hobble, hobble along uh, with kind of the education that I received mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, broken family, what have you, father leaving, um, no real close contact father figure. Yes. Um, so I think, you know, um, it's coming from, that's why I'm able to s so think, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So quickly, so easily. Yeah, and I think that's a general thing for, for most of us. A lot of uh, guys, men, yeah, yeah. But particularly black men, as you yeah. say. I want to take a break, but before we get there, um, you posted something. I know September was your birthday month. Yeah. So happy belated. Uh, I'm but always you're scared of my post. Okay, what did <laughs> I post? <laughs> you posted that it's important that you know why you are here. Yeah. Why do you think you're here? Because I was curious about that. I was like, what is he thinking? What, what goes yeah. through his head? Yeah. Look, I think um, first is talent. Mm -hmm. uh, first is talent. It's uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, or the, the Bandini, his trainer, says there's just a stop, look, and listen side. Mm. You know, Muhammad Ali is the loud mouth, but he's really good in the ring, so we watch. But then he starts preaching about what he believes and about what he thinks black men, yes. you know, we're great or whatever. So that's why he's here. You know what I mean? The, his talent kind of does that. Mm -hmm. So we're able to listen to him because of what he does is greatness. Yes. Um, and basically I was thinking more on those lines that um, my talent is acting, uh, storytelling. And uh, with what I do with that, that's the why. Yeah, that's yeah. the why. Yeah. yeah important yeah. and you know why you're here yeah. well you'll be coming back on the couch a little bit later mm. hopefully the people at home aren't gonna say but why such a short segment he'll be back everybody well coming up is a man who's widely known for his smooth r&b sounds when we return i'll be having a sit down with brian temba aka rantumeng mokwena from sabc 2's mobango stay right there Let's go it. Yeah, I just have a hand. 
As long as I need time, I'll pay them about I'll sadly like okay. Got the mago to Penega Kulu, scorn the spaghetti with the freezer, and was satisfied in my career. You might go on Salus or Hobana with your soul. Slumber when I tell a minute to bow up away. Okay, cousin, I get on the suit. My late aunt's daughter. Oh, Joe, be careful, Matasiana Mal. So give me invite dealer for Sab. Mona, the road. Who's back? Hi, my house in peace and trail. Come, sir, I shouldn't be. Now, that's just a scene taken from SABC 2's Mubango. Brian Temba, I swear, has to have been one of those really annoying kids oh. who could do just about anything, from singing to dancing to acting. He could do it all well. But he's certainly been a, an enjoyed fixture on many local and international stages. And we just love to see that dapper, ever so calm, Rantuming on SABC 2 soap uh, Mubango. So welcome, Brian. Thank you. Thank you thought you that was me. an insult? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I actually I love drama. If I had to do like serious drama and just go crazy, yes. I'd take that. Yes. Yeah. But is it true? Like everything you touch, like the singing, the dancing, the acting, <laughs> you like this triple threat that can do all <clears throat> these different things. Look, um, as you would know that my base is music. Yes. When I got into the industry, it was music. Yeah. And I went to the Lion King. Uh, that's where I discovered you know, the acting situation. Mm. So, uh, oh, so the fun. Lion King was because of your voice? Y yes, uh -huh. yes. Because everything is because of music. Simba. Yes. Uh, oh, everything was because of the voice. Because of the music, yeah. Oh, it started. <laughs> so did you know from an early age, though? No. In terms of acting yeah, or music? Or this, if, yeah, even this... I, I, okay, my, my mom, <laughs> actually, because she, she was a primary school teacher. Yeah. So she would do plays all the time. She would just put together plays. And I think that's where I get it from. Mm. You know, um, I'd join in and be one of the actors, but I hated it. I even hated singing <laughs> at school, which is ironic because what now changed? I'm a singer. You all changed. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. My dad, actually. Mm. I blame mm. my dad because he would play beautiful music. You know, when we're driving to Transkai or driving wherever, long distances, he would play beautiful music. And I just caught the bug mm. from a very early age i can't tell you when yes but from yes, a very early yes age. and i mean for a lot of you from early on you had that dream of having your album recorded overseas well, yeah uh, and i yeah. can remember that yeah. very first album and how it, it exploded yeah. and the beautiful message embedded in uh, dominoes for yeah, instance definitely so that was that was important so it was very a critical moment yeah i, I mean I, I think i've told you this before when i got into the music industry I had dreams. When I d discovered that I could sing, I had a dream to record my album. I didn't know how I was going to do that. Yeah. But I did it, you know, because God, when you, when you write down, I used to write down, I need to start writing again. I, need, I, I, used, <laughs> I used to write down everything that I wanted to do, you know, and, and work towards it mm -hmm. because it's pointless to, to have dreams and not work towards it. Right. They say faith without works is dead. Absolutely, yeah. and it's 20 years now. The years when Joya celebrated. Wow, she remembers. They, oh my gosh, <laughs> the Joya celebrated. It's 20 years. 21 years now. 21. Yeah. So what is the what's the plan to mark this milestone? The plan is right now because I've, I'm done with Mubango, you know, for a moment, and um, I've shot, and it's playing until next year. So yeah. I'm happy about that. Yeah. It's, it's, it was a beautiful journey for me. How did your fans take it? <laughs> Abo mama by a car. Abo mama by a car. It's all run too. It's the weirdest thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you surprised about your fan base? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm not, but it, always it, sometimes it gets creepy, you know? When they see you in the sort of hi run too. Like they think they're Tandaza, you know, and, and it's yeah. just like yo. Okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> it's Brian. Yes, it's Brian. <laughs> it gets freaky. I interrupted you. You were talking about the plans that you have for the celebration. Yes, um <clears throat> I'm celebrating twenty years. I released an album called An ABC. Yeah. yeah. To commemorate but that was twenty seventeen, that, right? That's twenty seventeen, mm. yes. But we're re releasing it again because of um, th a lot of work that I was doing, so I didn't have time to market the album. Mm. So now we're going back, we're releasing it again with Red Revol Revolution, a uh, record company. Um, they've, you know, they're, they're coming on board and they're helping with all of that. So we're gonna market it properly. But there's so many projects that I'm working on. Um, in London as well, there's a friend of mine who does house. Yeah. And I, for some reason, I love house. 
and I never used to love house. Uh, for some so, <laughs> reason, like it's one of those things you couldn't touch before. No, I never, I never used to love house. Uh -huh. But now I've done literally probably about ten songs with the house features, features and everything else locally and internationally. Mm -hmm. So and people are going crazy. People are going crazy locally and internationally. So why not? Yes. And uh, one thing that I've um, decided to do is not limit myself as a musician because. I can do house, I can do gospel, I can do R&B, mm -hmm, I can do whatever, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. as a producer as well. It's, it's, it's a challenge. It's a beautiful challenge. So why did you leave the Soapy, though? Um, well, it wasn't my decision. Okay. It was the, you know, the, the, the channels, the, yeah, the writers uh, um, and the directors. Mm -hmm. It was their decision. But I think everything has its own time. Funny enough, when I did The Lion King, I did it for five years. And when I did um, Mubango, I did it for five years. So <laughs> Your life working cycles, exactly. five cycles. So, so everything happens for a reason, and I'm happy with the experiences, with, with the opportunities, better. yes, with opportunities. And the funny thing is, I, I have a studio at home, so I'm having fun with that space as well. Yes. You know, I'm producing other people, I'm, I'm working, okay. and, that's, and that's beautiful. Right. Well, let's take this call from Bridget. Bridget, you're calling us from Brackfan. Good evening. <clears throat> Hi, Azania, how are you? I'm super, thank you. Of course, you called for Brian. <laughs> what do you want to Yay. say? Yes, I just would. I just would like him to sing the song Zanella for me. Oh my God! <laughs> He's been battling a cough. So yes. Got you been battling yes. a cough. Hey man. Eh? Yep. So yes. Maybe a line. Come on. Bro. <laughs> so, you want me to sing it for him? Oh, yeah, you, you can. Sing it. Yeah, you, you sing, sing it for him. Thanks. Well, I can do that, and you can also sing Zanella. There you go. Manze, manze. <laughs> 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 oh, I like him. I can you, you know, Brian I love you so much. And please release another another album for me, please, please, please. Just for you. What's your name? What's your name again? Bridget. Bridget. I'm, gonna, Bridget, I'm sorry. Bridget. Bridget, song. Bridget. I'm going to write a song called Bridget, just for you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bridget, what a great call. I love your vibe. I love your energy. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Yeah, the your fans. Yo. Yeah. Huh? Man. Yeah. It's been beautiful. It's been it's been challenging to, mm -hmm. to, to marry the two, you know, music and acting. Um, acting, I mean, my, my colleagues will tell you, it takes so much of yes, your time. Yes. Especially when your character is is shooting from six to six. You know, you can't literally you can't get into the studio and do music because mm. you're worn out and when you act sometimes it takes a lot out of you. Yes. So that was the challenge for me until I, you know, I was able to find my feet a little bit. Okay. So now, for now, it's music and yeah. You're making people like Bridget very happy, but we also <laughs> caught up with someone that uh, you're very dear to in oh. her heart. Yes. Oh, Let's oh, take okay. a look. Hey, Brian! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> um, I just want to say how um, grateful I am for the Music in Me challenge. Uh, and for you recognizing me and actually were willing to nurture me. I'm so excited to feature on your EP as a result of that challenge that you gave me, you know. Thank you for making me step out of my comfort zone because the first time I saw the beat, I was like, oh my goodness, this is mine. Thank you so much, you know, for artists who are like legendary, like you, who are willing, you know, to see and recognize and actually be willing to nurture artists like us. I love you so much. I'm so appreciative. Words cannot even begin to describe. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the end of this year. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, so you're man. still, you're yet to step into the studio with her. Yes, yes, because she's in Cape Town. So we're trying to get her to come over to, to Joburg Joburg. so that we can just get into the studio. Nice one. I, social media. Hey? Yeah, man. Social, social media. media. And, and I was just literally producing a song at home and I put it on, on, um, on Insta store, whatever, Insta, yes. yeah, all of that, Insta Live. And I invited people to, to just write to a song. And she wrote, a lot of people wrote, yes. and she, she has an amazing voice. Wow. Yes, she has Can't an amazing wait. voice. Yes. So that's yeah. going to be a new collaboration, but the album itself yeah. features a lot of, I mean, the collaborations and the artists that oh you feature from Uhuru to, it's just astounding, the names that you secure. Yes, yes. I mean, it's people that I've always wanted to work okay. with. You know, yeah. this, this album particularly, I, I produced literally 90% 90, 90 of it. And even the writing, you know, I, I've done, I've challenged myself so much. Mm. Um, but I've wanted to work with people like um, 
um, the muffins, yeah. you know, Uhuru. I've always wanted to, because they come from, from Soshanguve. So I've wanted to work with them. I worked with Lection as well. Mm. I've seen him before and I was a fan. So I worked with everyone that I wanted to work with. Oh, wow. Dream project. And yes, ABC man. reloaded ABC. towards the end of the year. Well, when we, when we return, Horizon Deep's very own mayor, Hish, Matabani, it will be on the couch. Stay right there. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right. Um, I just want to, to thank you all for being part of the biggest change in the history of Horizon Deep. Now, from today on, I, I want you to do the best that you can do. Just be the best in everything that you do. I want us to show people that Bukamoso Boutique Hotel is the best hotel in this province. And in fact, it's going to be the best for a very long time. Very well, very well. Nice. So like any other establishment, we have rules. Now I'm sure Lala just giving you contracts. Nidi boni the rules, but I want to emphasize on four rules. Number one, no fraternizing with the customers. Kuchora ke bate lenze li chola chola puti. Mpun logu shela shela, nisma friendly friendly. Number two, there'll be no late coming, Sibi. Right. Number three, they very important. There'll be no drinking on the job. And then no sleeping on the job. Kanjal, kanjal. Right? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Lalash, I know that everyone is not here. Can you please just brief them with everything, particularly these four rules? Eh? Thank you. Let's okay. go. Yes, yes, a round of applause. Well, it's Real Talk right here on SABC3 where the stage is yours. And this evening I'm having a chat with some of our favorite SABC soap gentlemen. So welcome back. My next guest portrays the smooth Sichaba Muloi Matabani right here on SABC3's Isi Dingo. He's a character known not really so much for his deep thinking. And he tends to let his emotions run away with him most of the time. Um, so I give you Mutlati Mafate, ladies and gentlemen, who plays the character of Sechaba. Hello. Hi. Hi. I loved your analysis of what was going on there. So yeah. it allows us to get into the, the, the mind of the actor. Yeah. What, was Chaba, what were you doing when you were delivering Chaba's... Well, I mean, you know, Chaba, like I said, is one of those people about, you know, like Bodaki, who emphasize. You must emphasize on every word. You know, like politicians, they... <laughs> you know, you know, and, and I really, I mean, I really enjoy playing this character. I think, I don't think we're the same. Yes. Um, but I enjoy it because there's freedom about that character. And, and like you said, you know, Batuba, he, he can say anything. Mm. And, 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 and we, don't, we don't know what to expect from it. Yeah. So he's very controversial. And I like that about the yeah, character. Yeah, he's the one that, it's like setting the cat amongst the pigeons. Yeah. You know, it's like, yo, okay, what's Chaba going to say? What's exactly. he going to do? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, very interesting because it's been nine years. Ish. Are you still in love with Chaba? I am. I think, look, the character, like I said, is very open. Nine mm. years. I never thought, I thought maybe I'd be on a soapy for like five years, like Brian, you know, involved. <laughs> um, but I don't know, it just happened that nine years just went by so quickly. Yes. And, and the growth, I mean, I started from the bottom, literally, like he was a minor mm. and he keeps on evolving. Mm. He's a mayor now. Mm. So who knows where he can be in the future? Yes. You what know, is that um, chain feeling like, that mayor's chair feeling like? Uh, this it's, look, a story is a story, you know, but I think he's, he's, I mean, now he's responsible. He owns the hotel. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and, and, and now, I mean, he's, he's divorced. So he's, his life is changing, so we, we never know what to expect yes. with him. But I, I really enjoy playing that character. And, and yeah, I mean, nine years can be long. That's why now even the, the producers gave an opportunity to Yes, you're to directing, direct. which is amazing. Yeah, which, which, which is very fun, too, and a challenging. You know, like yeah. one would think it's easy to do it until you do it. Then you go, oh, mm -hmm. there's, there's so much work. Then that means and when you get home, not only do you read the scripts, now you must grip them. Now you... Ah, you must good. know what you want. You, yeah, yeah. so every, every scene. everything is, is, is pending on you. So like, oh, what do you want? Yeah. Oh, oh. Where is this going? Wait, wait, wait. So, and before you would just be the star, mm. you know, so now you... But I really am enjoying the process and, and, and I think, I guess that's why I'm not bored yeah. with the character. Yeah, because it can happen. 
I it guess can it can. Like, yeah, I mean, look. Like, we talked about it. He said sometimes, you know, you'll get those dips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you must find a way. You must find a way to really energize it. Look, I enjoy what I do. You know, I really love going to work. I, re I, I would do it every day. Yeah. You know, I don't mind the 12 hour shoots. Um, you know, it just keeps me busy and I enjoy it. I do it with all my heart. So. Yeah. So it's so a big full circle thing for you because you studied yeah. at AFDA, yeah. you know, so this directing, yeah. you're producing music on the yeah. other side, you're performing, yeah. quite a holistic person here. Yeah, look, I mean, I've, I've always been into the arts. I remember when they asked me, Koskolo, what do you want to do when you grow up? I said I wanted to be staring, you know, <laughs> and today they're like, yes. <laughs> You know, so, so like, Mark, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to be? I want to be a stereo. Hello? <laughs> oh. yeah. But, um, and yeah, so, and I, I love music with all my heart. You know, I mean, even though, like we speak of the 12-hour shift, when I get home, mm. I get into my studio and I try and I, I create music. You don't watch TV? Ah, sometimes I bore, you know. So I just, <laughs> okay, I know it's odd, because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I, I prefer, I, I, I make TV, mm. and then I get home, I make music, mm -hmm. and it makes me happy, so. What is the plan with your music career? Um, I, I want to release, I've got so many songs, I've produced quite a lot. Yeah. Because uh, you also need, like, there's no time, really. Six to six, uh, Monday to Friday, then when do you promote the album? Mm -hmm. When do you go on tour? So I need to be out the story now. I need to also then stop directing. So there's a lot. I think at the right time it will come out, you know? Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that I've got... Acting has made it possible for me to even build a studio. Yes. Right, and then take my time, write the music. And I think God works in his own ways. And at the right time, the music will come out. Absolutely. You know? So you started taking, well, training to be a pilot many, yeah. many years ago. Yeah. I used to love the idea of being a pilot. Right. And I recently kind of started to take private pilots. Oh, lessons. nice. Yeah. So That's would you right. ever go back to that? I would. Does it, if you would? I would. It was, it was fun and it was easy. I mean, I'm sure it's not as hard as people think it is. No. What well, would you think, in, right? It was like, really, that's how, it, that's how we do this. That's how we lift off the plane. Right? Okay. I mean, so I, I would. One day, I mean, when I'm extremely wealthy, <laughs> I'll buy myself a Cessna, fly to wherever, you know. I've, I've always liked that thing that um, John Travolta has his own plane. Yes. And I was like, yo, one day I want to have my own plane, mm. you know. Mm. Like I said, I wanted to be steering and it happened. So obviously the plane is going to happen. So I guess I'll... I'll do it again. You haven't abandoned it, no, that no, no, dream. No, 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 it's still there. Yeah. yeah. How is Zola these days? Uh, Zola, the hood? Yeah. Oh, man, it's, it's dope. Oh, you thought I meant, no, I mean, not yeah, seven. But I was like, okay, <laughs> you talk about Zola now? <laughs> 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 well, uh, Zola is dope, man. You know, I shall love my hood. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, and I'm very proud of, of, of coming from Zola. My dad is from Naledi, my mom is from Zola. Mm -hmm. But Zola also has a thing about, about, Pumikas. Yeah, and very then, then we respect Zola. you. Ah, Zolam Deni. You, you can so come from. So yeah, yeah, you can come from Tembisa or you can come from. Pimville. Yeah, Pimville. But Pumikas Zola, you let me get in touch. Yeah. You see, but Zola, it's not as bad as it used to be. No, it's not. It's, 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 it's not. It's quite yeah, I've got these guys, I've got this. But two chairs with Salas on. I don't know. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see it. I know it's. But it's the truth. So go on my Instagram, you'll see chairs. <laughs> 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 I want you to take me um come, <laughs> Let's I'll go to the that. streets of Zola and we're gonna find him um come. <laughs> Show me. Oh, I just love this guy. Uh, coming up, we've got an artist who sells himself as a multi-dimensional actor, and he's certainly on a steamy rise all the way to the top. Skim mm -hmm. Sams Lehasa will be joining me after this. Mapoza, what can you tell me about this? Where, where, where did you get that? I found it in your shirt. You know the one with Zweli Glamini's blood on? Is it just a coincidence that all these people on this hit list are either dying or disappearing? Hey, man, that's not a hit list. Well, tell that to the court when the time comes. Look, that, that, that's a list of people I thought were harassing me with the phone calls. Oh, I see. Sonti Mahongwa's name is on here, and uh, Jonas Edumedi is written at the back. I wonder if there's a connection between Sweli Yamini, Jonas Edumedi, and Sonti Mahongwa. I mean, why would you suspect them of harassing you? You know, I've grown 
very cautious of answering your questions, Peterson. From now on, you'll talk to me through my lawyer. Come on, have you got something to hide? If you have something on me, then by all means, charge me. Until then, goodbye. I think he's falling in love with his own performance. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Well, besides <laughs> being dubbed as one of Mzansi's sexiest personalities, Cedric Fauri keeps many audiences glued to their screens every week as he plays the shady, manipulative businessman, <clears throat> Lehasa Maposa. And he joins me now on the couch here on Real Talk. Yeah, you were, I mean, the plot is thick around your character, around Lehasa. The plot always thickens of around course. him. But you were clearly mesmerized by your own performance. Uh, it's, it's, no choke hile, you know what we say, Kogasi. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm from the Gassi. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's always refreshing, you know, because you're breathing life into a character. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think what's fascinating is also I'm breathing life into a character that's, to an extent, is a persona that's rare in our country. I mean, how many 28, 29, 30, 31 year olds? are multi-millionaires, mm. and I'm talking hundreds of millions, and that's what this guy is playing, and you have to carry that, and mm. the arrogance. You can tell he's a young boy, you know, in the game, but he's yes. just killing the game. Yeah. You know, so it's very fascinating to see, to watch myself do that. Did you see these like real life characters that kind of help to inform how you layer him? Um, yeah, but what I try to do is, I don't, I try not to imitate anybody, yeah. so I try to get a guideline of, of, of how to portray certain character traits like the arrogance, the vulnerability, mm. um, you know, the small gestures, the uh, how he greets people, how he ignores people, you yeah. know, how he goes about life. So different, it's different elements that I study from different people. Yes. And of, of course, also there's um, my own input into it. At the end of the day, I need to give my own signature. Absolutely. You know I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> like having <laughs> you sitting across from me. So. You grew up in what, Orlando Gardens in Soweto? Of course. So where does the Fori come from? <laughs> okay, so according to my aunt um, mm -hmm. and my grandmother, mm. the Fori comes from my grandfather, who's my mother's father. Um, but also that's not his surname. He gave himself the surname. Oh. I know it's quite tricky because his grandfather was a white man yeah. who had a child with a black woman, obviously being his father. Yes. And the mother and, and son had to elope because it was not allowed at the time and Wait, apparently- elope or run away? Well, sorry, the, yes, run away. The, mother, the and mother and the son. Yes, yes. Yes. Had to then run away. Yes. Uh, and then, and then um, because it was not allowed and apparently the dad wanted him dead. Yeah, that's how hectic, it's, it's like a horror movie, I know, right? So he came, to, yeah. he came to Johannesburg, had to change his surname and gave himself the surname Jackson. Yeah. And then because he wasn't allowed in black schools and he wasn't allowed in white schools. Yes. And colors were like, hey, you're going to get us into trouble because you look white. You know, and then also, but it, you have they a weren't black sure. Mother. Yeah. And then obviously then my grandfather came through him and he couldn't inherit the surname. Right. Because I think, I don't know if they, 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 they managed to track down who Jackson is. Mm -hmm. uh, so my grandfather then had to then change. To Fourie. To Fourie. What? Uh, An interesting yeah. Lineage and backstory. So my mom got the surname. Mom and dad never got married, so I inherited the surname. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. You should do a book or something. You know, a friend of mine actually said that, Brian. He was like... It would make for a great script for, for a story. You reckon? Yeah. So in light of that then, have you struggled to find your place in this industry? I remember we had um, Jolene Reneker here, mm -hmm. and she was talking about how it was difficult at first because she wasn't white enough, she wasn't black enough. Oh, yeah. And also at the same time, there weren't enough roles for, for course, colored people. So there's a, there's a strange <coughs> tension and yeah. spot that's unaccounted for. Yeah. Um, I've been in a similar situation, actually. I, I didn't know Jolene went through mm -mm, that. Um, mm -mm. I've been in a similar predicament like that, where I was, uh, of course, I can't mention the, which, uh, which, production, yes, or, which yeah. production house it was, but they wanted to see me. They wanted to give me a role. Uh, and uh, the broadcasting channel just thought he doesn't look black enough. Mm. Um, and that's why I basically couldn't get it, uh, get, get the role. So, so I guess, yeah, you know, I've, 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 I've encountered that because you're very excited. You know, when they call you, you're excited. Yeah. You know, uh, 
And then to be uh, not considered or uh, to be turned down based on something that yeah. is it's unnecessary. It leaves one to wonder, like, you know, when will I get a chance then? Because, I mean, black people are dominating, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, in terms of, you know, storytelling in our country. And uh, you then question, when am I going to get the big break? Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm willing to put in the work. I'm willing to, to you know, to give it my all. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm willing to not be comfortable, you know. Um, but then this break came through and... Uh, and look at what you're doing, you're like <laughs> tearing it up. You are just really uh, doing this character uh, justice, absolute justice. Yeah, you do you. motivational talks. Yes, from time to time. Yeah, what is the center? What is, what so is currently, the currently um, a lot of the work I do is centralized to women empowerment, but also the LGBTQI community. Mm -hmm. um, but what I tend to do with the LGBTQI community is I speak from an advocacy point of view. I don't speak as a victim because I'm not... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I don't think I fall into it yeah. in, in the community, but so I can't speak as a victim. I can't speak as a member. one of them, yeah, yeah. But I can speak from an advocate because I do as have as right family, yes, yeah. family members who who have been affected by what society tends to believe is what defines masculinity or mm. a man. So I, mm. I, I, and I've got a lot of gay friends, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't even hide it, I'm very proud. Actually, I, I, I believe the LGBTQI community is very woke. Yeah. You know, I look at my journey coming here, uh, being where I am and where I'm from, you know, they've kept, a lot of my friends who are in the LGBTQI community have kept me woke. Even mm -hmm. when I bought my house, the best advice I'd get it from them. My straight guy friends is like, hey, sure, as in, yeah, like, so, like, so you know what I mean? I and and, and it's, it's very interesting, it's yeah. very interesting. And because, and that kind of forms the bond. It, it, it solidifies the bond that I have with my LGBTQI. So when you see this injustice, it makes you want to use your name, of use course, the, of the, course. the platform that you yeah. have. To and it's quite that. interesting to get a straight guy to address these issues with straight men, because I believe straight men are leaders of their communities. Mm -hmm. And if, if they just start a trend, yes. in most cases, women will follow. I'm not saying women are sheep and they follow everything. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's the best approach is, is... I'm giving you the eye. Maybe we'll discuss it during the break. <laughs> Maybe I, I need to just set you right Aish, okay, <laughs> okay. during the break. All right. Well, you're staying on that couch. And yeah. uh, when we return, in fact, the guys and I are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart about some of the things that they've come across or still do, in fact, in the industry. You're with Real Talk. Well, we're about to wrap things up for this evening and back on the couch is Boyo, Brian, Mutlatsi and Cedric. So gentlemen, it's our final segment together. Mm. Isn't that sad? I'm sad. Very sad. Yeah. So I want to get a little bit serious, but also want to have a little bit more fun. What are your thoughts on the amendment to the Protection of Performers Act? You know, we had actors in parliament fighting for your rights. Mm -hmm. So are you, are you backing it? Are you behind it? We don't have a choice but to back it. Yeah. You know, I mean, for a very long time, um, actors have been exploited, and I think it's only fair for them to now, you know, get recognized. And, and yeah, man, I'm supporting it. I think every other actor, even people in general, must just support this. It's good for, Absolutely. for, 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 for the future generation. Yes. Well, Cedric was talking about advocacy, even though you're not part of the group. I'm not an actor, but I'm fully behind this. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Minentle calling from Boys this evening. Hello, Minentle. Hello. Yes, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Hello. Hi. How are you? We're good, thank you. Go ahead, Minentle. You can talk to my panel. I have a couple of personal views, guys. Uh huh. Let me please give us one thing to let us go be successful in the industry. They keep what? Oh, I don't think it's a great line. What a pity. She was oh, so man. fired up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, um, she had a... Interesting. Yeah, she had a yeah. bone to pick. Mm. Ah. All right, okay. well, sadly, we, we have to move away from that one. But for you, there was a time when you had a no-kissing policy. Yeah. What happened? What changed? Mm. Well, my son, I, I got a son. Okay. And, uh, I mean, for, for the longest time, I ha wasn't working. Okay. Um, and uh, because of that rule. And I'd walk in, and I was, I was, uh, I had the same issue as the mixed raised fellow here. Yeah. Um, uh, so I would walk in, and 
you know, because of the kissing uh, issue, I wouldn't work. And um, I wasn't making money. I wasn't uh, living like an adult. Mm. And uh, my son was born. And then I thought, you know what? He's the most important thing. Uh, if, if I'm going to go to hell, then so be it. It, it, was, it was based on a religious uh, belief that if you look at a woman uh, uh, lustfully, then yeah. uh, you've committed adultery with them uh, in your heart. Uh, and uh, so I just could not go against that. And then you that had time. to, out of, out of circumstance. Yeah, I had to, my boy. Break the, the rule. Yeah, and yeah. explain to the child, Tore, you know, this is part of work. Dad has um, to work. Uh, no, 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 no. It's because of he's, he's, he doesn't know anything about mm. it. He's, he's four now. Mm. Uh, but when he was born, yes. that's when, you know, um, uh, sort of a father instincts kicked in. Okay. And I uh, decided, okay, let me go uh, fend for him uh, the best way that I think I, I can. Got you. Yeah. I the chronology basically, that's how it works. Yeah. So, Brian, did you ever have a similar kind of rule? No. Nah. You're comfortable. Uh, comfortable. <laughs> well, um, shy a little Roma. The funny thing is that um, 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 we, we actually don't kiss. Um, yeah, okay. We, yes, we, we, we don't kiss. Oh, yeah, so you guys don't. Yeah. A lot of people. South African audiences are conservative, let's be honest. Uh, look, I love Mubango, not, not dissing my fellow colleagues in yeah. their you know, show. No dis fellow. I, yeah. I, I love Mubango because what it promotes, you know, um, you will never see alcohol. Mm, mm. you know, in the scenes or anything like that. You'll never see artists kissing and whatnot. And I think that's why Bokoko, they actually love Mubang. Mm. You know, I don't know, because there's some, you know, some sort of cleanliness, somehow, yeah. if, if, I, if I can say it. Well, that that's way. that side of the couch. I don't want to start about <laughs> this, this side, side of the couch, because <laughs> look at the activity that happens on Scheme Sound. I'm like, I saw your face looking at that guy. like, you what? <laughs> you I mean, it's work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Work, yeah. Mm. If, if I had to do it, <laughs> I'd do it. You would do it. Yes, I would. Yeah. You have no problem with it, Sidney. Uh, I, I, I have no problem with it. Uh, I guess if I were to have a problem with it, uh, personally, mm. it I, I don't want to be a male version of Brooke. You know, <laughs> uh, because because it, it, yeah, I, but I don't have a problem with it, especially when you're with somebody who knows the boundaries and keeps it professional uh, then is it easy for things to go out of hand <clears throat> so i so okay <coughs> being honest the the possibilities yes are there but if you keep remembering why you're there mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. know then then that grounds you and it, it holds you back yeah you maintain and also, your own boundaries. yeah because because for me storytelling i love storytelling uh and storytelling is is is, is a passion it's, it's stronger than a desirable woman that i'll be kissing on screen, really. Uh, at, at the end of the day, you don't want to get distracted, oh. and and people and the audiences can see, and and producers can tell, okay. you know. And you don't want to be Labeled caught up in that mix. Kind of unprofessional. Yeah. So let's try you know? uh, this caller because we weren't successful earlier okay. on. Pila, good evening. Hi. What's going on, Johnny Pila? Yeah, Pila. Hey, I have a quick question for Mister. For Mister. <laughs> hey, how, hey, how you doing? Yes. yes. I'm a big fan, and don't go the one thing like it's all on the castle chair because it's a little bit scattered now in seven zero. Okay. Um. Did you hear the question? That's mm -hmm. deep. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't get... I think. I think he's asking. It's all on the castle chair. It's castle chair. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yo. <laughs> when? Yeah, I bumped into I bump into uh, Cedric uh, a couple of times when I'm in Soweto at yeah. uh, Vision Active, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Daddy, how do you do it? And then I'm like, son, okay, this is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you maintained, I've yes. seen your pictures, yes. you've maintained that six so, pack. Say what? You've maintained. I don't know about him, but yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. Have you maintained? So, I have. Actually, I bumped into him at the lockers and he was like, Yo, don't I, lie. We don't mean it at the, the lockers. No, when when he's about to leave, you I get and it. Your LGD, LGD, huh? whatever it is, you don't bump into the. <laughs> and he's like, no. Okay, okay. Yeah. These two, what's going through your mind? Because they're talking like, about hey, lifting hey, weights. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. To answer the guy, to to answer the guy, I. It's incredibly difficult. Uh, yeah, to find the, time. Everybody's been talking about just the acting on its own. It takes up all your time. 
Uh, and then I'm a father. I've got to mm. go. I don't live with my son. Okay. Um, I, but I visit him, you know, every day, mm. you know, when I can. Um, that's if I'm not working uh, on far off locations. So yeah. uh, uh, th this is so much. Um, there's, so, there's very little time, basically. Absolutely, but you've got to make time. If but it's yeah. a priority, yeah, you have yeah, to make yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for, for having us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Such an uncertain goodbye. Oh, Don't worry, yeah. we're going to stay here and it keep happened, chatting. It was so sad in this film, so we were like, oh, okay. <laughs> it is up. Okay. Time is up. <laughs> like, I want to sure. thank all of these guys for joining me this evening, but you can go, go over to our social media platforms and continue engaging with us. That's at Real Talk on 3. Well, thank you for tuning in, of course. We're doing it again tomorrow evening, and we're bringing you a feel-good Friday, as we always do on a Friday. So thank you for uh, from the rest of the team, from us, it's good night. Real Talk is proudly sponsored by Huawei P20 Pro and MTN. Each week for 10 weeks, we're giving away the latest Huawei.